The New York Times now admits that the Hunter Biden laptop is real. The Washington Post admits that the Hunter Biden laptop is real. Lots and lots of establishment media are admitting that it's real, which means that Hunter's meticulously recorded crimes are real, which means that the crooked deals with enemy governments are real, which means that in some of those crooked deals with the enemy governments, the 10% being held for the big guy, Joe Biden, is almost certainly real, which is, to borrow a phrase from Joe Biden, a big effing deal. But some people in the liberal establishment media still don't want to admit it. Thank you for doing this. Really appreciate it. I'm Daniel Schmidt. I'm a freshman at the University of Chicago. My question is for Ms. Applebaum. Um, so in 2020, you wrote, those who live outside the Fox News bubble do not, of course, need to learn any of the stuff about Hunter Biden, referring to his laptop, of course. Uh, a poll later after that found that if voters knew about the content of the laptop, 16% of Joe Biden voters would have acted differently. Now, of course, we know a few weeks ago, the New York Times confirmed that the content is real. Do you think the media acted inappropriately when they instantly dismissed uh, Hunter Biden's laptop as Russian disinformation? And what can we learn from that in ensuring that what we label as disinformation is truly disinformation and not reality? I, my, my problem with Hunter Biden's laptop is, I think, totally irrelevant. I mean, it's not whether it's disinformation or, I mean, I don't think the Hunter Biden's um, business relationships have anything to do with who should be president of the United States. So I, I, didn't fi- I don't find it to be interesting. I mean, that, that would be my problem with the, that as a, as a major news story. It's not interesting. You can say a lot of things about the Hunter Biden laptop, but uh, crack pipes, hookers, seven-figure bribes from foreign governments, that's I think we all would have to agree that is at least interesting. More to the point, this is not a major news story. We're talking about what appears to be, from all the available evidence, perhaps the most egregious financial corruption in the history of the United States. That's not a major news story. No, it's not a major news story to the writers and editors who are carrying for carrying water for Joe Biden. Yeah, it's not to them. But if you're just looking at the news, of course it's a major news story. It implicates not just Hunter Biden, it implicates Joe too. And CBS News is finally admitting it. CBS News has a big report on this. They they say, quote, CBS has learned more than 150 financial transactions involving either Hunter or James Biden, that's Joe's brother, uh, their global affairs business were flagged as concerning by U.S. banks for further review. Some of those concerns included large wire transfers. Now, some people in the liberal establishment press still don't want to come clean about all of the work they've done to cover up for Joe Biden. They still want to stick to the story. But frankly, what is more interesting to me is the growing number of major establishment liberal outlets that are coming clean all at the same time. The Times, The Washington Post, CBS News. Seems to me Joe Biden's not getting any respect these days. Not from Obama the other day at the White House, not from the White House staff, and not even from the press anymore. All of the dirt, all of the mud that we've known about, if you've been listening to this show that we've known about for years, all of it's just coming up now. Does this mean perhaps that the big guy's political time is up? Did you like that clip? I'm glad. Go subscribe, ring the bell, get the notifications. Also head on over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify or Stitcher or Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show. Leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.